welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's vlog i am ashley if you are new and if you are new please go ahead and stop what you're doing do me a quick favor hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you and i can become acquainted and so we can do things like this on the regular so today is monday of course you guys will be seeing this on next sunday or beyond so today is the hottest topic of the day as you guys know by the time you watch this is probably hopefully would have died down but we'll call it slap gate oscar gates <laughs> slap gate is hot off the trails it just happened last night at the oscars with will smith and chris rock so of course today that's the only thing people have been talking about rightfully so understandably so because it was so shocking um especially obviously especially coming from somebody as what y'all who y'all thought was cookie court cutter like will smith but girl don't get the boy messed up and the boy might have left philly but the philly is still within him <laughs> when i tell you he slapped he took the entire city of philly's frustration out on chris rock's face last night and I didn't watch the Oscars. I'm somebody who typically does. I watch at least the red carpet because obviously I want to see what the girls are wearing. I did not watch it last night. I never planned on it. I was curious though, as soon as I heard that Beyonce was performing, I was like, what? The girl is performing? I need to watch it. But I was so exhausted after coming from Savannah yesterday afternoon. I was not in the mood to watch the show last night. So when I woke up this morning, it's all buzzing, it's all over the gram. And when I first saw it, like at first glimpse, I was like, that's fake. I know that, that that's a skit, that's an Oscar skit. You know, they're both funny, whatever. And then when I saw how he walked off that stage with the swagger of a thousand men, I said, oh, that boy was not playing. He meant that, he meant every ounce of that swag. But, um like i say by the time y'all are watching this it would have died down hopefully um even though i don't think it's ever going to unfortunately leave will smith's um his legacy his leg he's now going to be known as not only the fresh prince of bel-air and uh the independence guy the independence day guy and men in black and all the other things the genie all the other things that he's known for he will be known as the who the dude who slapped Chris Rock in front of everybody at the, at the Oscars. I just can't believe it. I just cannot believe it. But like I, I feel conflicted about the situation because it's kind of like okay, you do need to defend your wife, but at the same time, it was a joke. And I don't know. And I know every you know. I know Jada Pinkett Smith has alopecia. And um, you would think that everybody knows that, but Chris Rock might not be watching Red Table Talk. Chris Rock might not be on Instagram looking at recaps from Red Table Talk on The Shade Room. He might not be aware that she has alopecia. Um, and I didn't, I mean, even though she has alopecia and it was in poor taste, had he known that, but you never know, it goes to show, you never know what people are going through. So always give people the grace that you expect to receive in return. However, it's just something about that joke that just looks, I just feel like he didn't know that she had alopecia and he thought it was a pretty light joke. And I mean, Will even kind of laughed it off initially, but then Jada was like, you know, kind of like wrote her eyes and Will was like, oh no, you know, I got to go see homeboy about this right now, actually in front of all of these people on this stage right now. In front, like it was just bizarre, y'all. It was super bizarre, but the boy looked like he ain't slept in days. He looked like he'd been under a lot of pressure, you know, campaigning for the Oscars and going to different events. But I, I get it, 100%, I get it. But at the same time, you can't put your hands on nobody. <laughs> you cannot put your hands on people. Because if Chris Rock would have retaliated and, you know, his reflex would have been to haul off and, you know, still on, still on him back, y'all would have been on stage brawling at the Oscars. Like that would have been a bad look too. So I'm, I'm I'm glad that Chris Rock was able to compose himself as much as he was able because he was startled and taken back too. But anyway, that whole that that whole situation was just crazy. I pray for everybody's um, sanity moving forward, and I hopefully um, 
they can come to a resolution somehow, some way, because that shit was really ridiculous and bizarre. And and again, let me just say this before I move on. I know that you know people say protect women, protect black women. I'm the biggest fan of black women and their protection. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I don't know if some if she needed protection from words. It's not like he got off the stage and slapped the do slapped the, the the taste out of her mouth. Then you supposed to you know you supposed to retaliate. This man just made a comment. He just made a a, a poorly taste a a joke that was in poor taste. So I don't know if that warranted a a, a slapping um, because it was just words. Like I said, if he had put his hands on your wife, then protect her absolutely. But for you to slap him. I know a lot of people are living for the boy this morning, and I think Will Smith is amazing. I, I, I truly don't, I truly hope that this doesn't tarnish his reputation, but it will. I mean, come on, that shit was so bizarre. It definitely will tarnish his, his, his rep, but I don't know. And a lot of girls are saying, if you don't defend, if my man don't defend my honor like that, then we break it up and blah, blah, blah. Girl, if your man go around slapping the taste out of every man's mouth that got something to say about you negatively or in a jokingly manner, he going to be locked up, girl. <laughs> because do you like this man? Do you want this man? Do you want him to be out free? Because, <laughs> I mean, if, if a man come up and run up on me and spill on me in my jaw, I'm going to need you to protect me. I'm going to need for you to do what you need to do as my man. But... If somebody just say something out of say something back to him, but I don't necessarily think that that warranted putting hands on people. But that's just my opinion, and maybe an unpopular opinion because, like I said, they are living for the boy on the gram today. They are saying that don't try the boy, and you know all of that. And I think that's great too. But like I said, I just I believe in conflict resolution in different ways. Like, but hey, you never know. Sometimes. You never know what people are going through. And at that point, it might have just been too much for a boy. Y'all know my hair is looking crazy. But, um, but yeah, like I said, I just wanted to come in, start off this week's vlog. Like I said, that's the hot topic today. That's the only thing that people have been talking about. Hopefully, it'll die down tomorrow because, quite frankly, girl, um, we've analyzed it in every direction possible. We're going to have to move on. As, as as hard as it may be, we're going to have to all move on. So my apologies if I'm bringing it back up a whole week later, even though it was the day before when I'm filming this. But I uh, just wanted to come in and say thank you guys so much all of, for all of your comments on last week's vlog. Y'all, Savannah was everything, like literally everything. The fact that we have that going on in the state of Georgia and it's just in a different city, like, and I've never been, like, I feel away. Like, I've been here for going on 17 years and I've never been to Savannah. Needless to say, your girl will be going back as soon as I possibly can because I had an absolute ball. Literally, the trip was like flawless, y'all. Like we had no hiccups. It was, the vibes were perfect. The food was great. The drinks were great. The people were uh, hospitable. The city is breathtakingly beautiful. I just thoroughly enjoy myself and I got to make it a priority in my life to get out and do things more uh, from a traveling standpoint, even if it's something as close as Savannah, because I enjoyed it and I came back very much so revitalized and refreshed. So <laughs> ready to uh, carpe diem all of the things. But again, thank you so much for coming back to this week's vlog. I know these intros lately have been super long-winded and I'm going to try to work on that but it seems like y'all like longer vlogs anyway so this is just adding to the longevity of the vlog again thank you so much for coming back don't forget to like share comment and subscribe of course and let's go ahead and get into it so I just got back in from Savannah y'all when I tell you I already got this bag unpacked now I'm about to unpack this bag I am not the girl who can sit around with bags that are still packed. Like I gotta get my I gotta get my life back together like immediately. How do y'all how how do y'all do it when you get back from a trip? Do you wait a couple of days to unpack, take your time, or do you have to do it immediately? Like I said, my OCD and anxiety won't allow it to happen. I've been here for ten minutes, and like I said, this bag is already unpacked, and now we about to work on that one. <laughs> 
y'all, I will be so glad when my Trader Joe's get done with this construction because it is so ratchet out here. Like, dumbass ratchet. Ew. Got stuff falling all over the place. Ugh, I hope they got some chick bows, though. <laughs> tempted to get one of these Spanish lavenders for my patio, but something tells me they're going to die very fast, but I got some really pretty, I don't know, I mean, new flowers, these ranunculus are pretty. <laughs> For, the, for these the last two times I went to Trader Joe's I don't know if I told y'all I did not see these and I have become extremely addicted this is like my new favorite little lunch meal um, and like I said y'all 540 calories I do season it a little bit and I'll also add like some fresh green onion and like onions and stuff also this is the bomb thebomb.com oh one more tip if you get these i put the chicken even though there is kind of it's not mixed together most of the chicken is on the top um i put the chicken in the air fryer and then i microwave the rest of it girl pro tip anyway i saw this on one of those trader joe's pages on ig so i was super I'm happy to pick this up um this is a new seasonal um item that they have and i want to say it was 2.99 or 1.99 I love all ranch seasoning, so I'm excited to try this as well. I was going to say I would try it out today, um, but it got, I know it says it's zero calories, but it does have a little bit of sugar in it, but anyway, too geeked up about that. And then, of course, lemons, but that's nothing to write home about. <laughs> Look what I got in the mail today. I'm not even going to, I'm going to do an unboxing video that you guys are likely going to be seeing before you're watching this vlog but i'm excited can anybody guess what it is well you'll know what it is hopefully by you see this but but yeah you know the girls love orange boxes so two little quick beauty pickups from cbs i love drugstore makeup just as much as i love high end um like i said i'm always needing some set and spray so i just picked this up I wish it was the matte one, but you know, we just, at this point, we're just desperate. They didn't have the matte. But more importantly, I have been wanting to try the NYX Lingerie Double XL. It's a matte um, lipstick. I got it in the color Turn On. Um, have you guys tried their Lingerie Double XLs? Cause I've been very curious. They're pretty big, but they cost like $10. So I, I wasn't really trying to give NYX that much money. But if you try those, let me know. Comment down below. Listen, girl, I am tired of coming to this place. I was just here last week. Getting my getting a pedicure and getting a nail fix. Girl, and I just had to get a whole full set. So I have a fresh white set, which they look really good. But $60, girl. Well, $50 plus a $10 tip. But damn, I can't be coming up in here seeing y'all every week, girl. Like, Inflation is a bitch. Like, I ain't got time. But anyway, they look good. Fresh, new, white set. Hey, you guys. Happy Saturday. It's Saturday, and I'm so happy. It's a beautiful day in the city, y'all. It's not, It's kind of chilly this morning, though. I was about to go with, like, where I'm going to, well, I'm about to go catch, um, go to lunch with Penny. We're going to Bonefish. We're going to give them another try since they sent your girl a gift card and all. But anyway, I was going to go for like spring colors and vibrant colors because of course it's April 2nd or whatever, but it's like chilly outside a little bit. It's like almost 60. But anyway, just going with my normal vibe. <laughs> so I'm wearing this gray uh, Forever 21 hoodie, just getting, you know, Ashley vibes, just standard thug life <laughs> vibes. I'm wearing this necklace, this tennis necklace that is going to be on my website soon. Um, I just have on some black Forever 21 leggings, just giving regular. My white Stan Smith Adidas, which I'll show you guys shortly. And then I'm also carrying 
this new bag, which is this clear kind of firkin, we'll call her. And um, inside her is my black multicolor insulate wallet. And then I have my Goyard pouch in the back also. And then some sanitizer girl because we still in the whole pandemic that is. So, oh, and this bag is also gonna be on my website soon. No shameless plugs, but I guess that's a shameless plug girl. But anyway, um, this tennis necklace, which is so cute. Um, I think I already mentioned that. On my wrist is my Rolex, my white H bracelet or click clack, and then this micro Cuban bracelet. And then um, I'll show you guys my full look, but let's ride. We about to go to Bonefish, girl, let's go. Y'all, why did JT go so hard on this song? Oh my God dude like and people always try to come for carisha and say that she can't rap but i disagree like i think that she can rap i think she's she just raps like she talks like i don't really see the big um carisha um beef or whatever as far as how she rap i know everybody loves her thinks she's beautiful which she is and jt is too but i think they both went dumb on this song oh my god this is like my song of the weekend like i just got so many ig captions off of this song like when carisha said i could pay for it but i'd rather him like come on now i just i just need it in my life and jt said um every every bitch that hate on me got a uh what she said got a got an ugly face and a bosh body i was like i ain't going there because it's an ops party like i'm like girl could you please preach jt but anyway this is my shit y'all listen to this yet <laughs> i'm on my way to the um to the spizzy about to go up in here to old navy and take back this disaster order <laughs> of them being um, in a public's bag because why not girl but yeah those two big bras and pins if they have um thank you if they have them in my size i might get them so they have a sale on jeans for 50 percent off i don't wear jeans because jeans are just not my vibe typically but i do want like some oversized boyfriend jeans um so maybe ooh, like very distressed those all oh, those are straight but i like the distressing on those so maybe i'll keep looking into some jeans i don't know but um we'll see it looks like almost everything in the store is 50 percent off today so are we bringing back overalls and i just didn't get the memo not saying that these are not cute because they kind of are but i just want to make sure i didn't miss the memo that jean jacket is kind of cute look at this dress y'all I know this doesn't look like my typical vibe, but I'm like, this is kind of cute. It has pockets. I'm going to try it on. Absolutely beautiful day in the city. And it's warming up too, but not quite as warm as, as, it, as it could be, but beautiful nonetheless. Ooh, I thought that was a bee girl. About to give these fools another, ch another chance. Wish me luck. It's all them today, though. <laughs> it's giving rich lady thug. started but your girl is now only a beauty insider so so far i'm liking this replica bubble bath i'm also liking um this nest black tulip those are giving what the girls need to give and what you smelling now the wild poppy i have penny with me you guys this is the doll y'all y'all know her at this point so yeah we're in here trying to figure out what we want so we can come back and buy it next week 
yeah, Julia has a gun is not smelling like nothing, girl. So I don't know. I see why you say you're not a perfume girl, because I can't smell you. I got her at Ratchet as Cumberland Mall. <laughs> Picking up this, which is the same dress I had on last week, just in this lilac pink color. Girl, we in auto shower. I tell you, I ain't been here in 25 years. They got the auto with me this time. Auto's got a cute little bag. Salt or sugar? Sugar. Sugar. So I had to pull up on Magiano's y'all and get some of the No way. What would like to be? Hey, hey. They got uh, Cumberland Pop and Chai. They got ballet out this bitch and everything. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what I picked up today. Um, Y'all already probably saw most of this stuff when I was in the hall, but I had a sale. So I just picked up this sun-drenched linen candle because... I just was in need of a very clean fragrance. I had a 25% off coupon and I also had a free gift coupon. Oops. So, sorry y'all. I also picked up this A Thousand Wishes. This was the free gift. And that's like the sample size. And I need a purse. Um, I desperately am in need of a purse lotion. So that's going to come in handy. Y'all saw that pink dress that I picked up from Forever 21, which is the exact same dress as that black and white striped long sleeve kind of cotton bodycon dress that I had on last weekend in Savannah. Um, let's see. So there's that. It's just kind of like this cotton rib dress. And it was on sale. It was actually 30% off of $22.99. So that was a really good deal. And then lastly from Sephora, I wanted to try out this Inky List. Um, I wanted a new cleansing or cleanser. So I'm gonna be trying out this <coughs> excuse me. I'm gonna be trying out this oak cleansing balm. Um, hopefully that's um, good. And then I never picked up my birthday gift from Sephora. So I did that today and I got the Laura Mercier set. So it's just this, I don't know why my camera's focus is so off right now, but it's this Laura Mercier um, powder and what else is that? Like a glow, glow, some sort of eyeshadow glow stick. But anyway, free pickup for my birthday from Sephora. So those are my quick little pickups today from Cumberland Mall, which I never go to Cumberland Mall, but um, everybody and their mama and their grandma and their auntie was out there today, so. It was fun. Shout out to Penny. We had a really good, cute little time. And I can't wait to do it again. Hey, you guys. So I'm just coming in to end off this week's vlog. Um, I'm not sure exactly. I don't want to, first of all, you know, I don't want to forget <laughs> to end off this week's vlog. Um, apparently, the final four is this evening. So um, I might be going to watch the final four game and or watching it at home. I'm not exactly sure, but that's what um, I'm hearing in the streets is that there's a Final Four game. <laughs> 
And then there's also a house party that I was invited to this evening. Not exactly sure, pretty confident that I will not be attending. However, like I said, I don't want to forget to end off this week's vlog. So I'm just coming in to say, hey girl, hey. If you made it to the end of the vlog, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you girls and guys in next week's vlog.